Morgan has followed Rippin for years. Like other fans here, he feels this tragedy could end up being a catalyst to help others with mental illness. And maybe if it's more open, then you can get more help and, and, and overcome it. I just really hope that, you know, now it'll be different for those that maybe are struggling too and they won't have to feel alone. At least one out of five Canadian adults will be affected by depression at some point in their life. Dr. Jyoti Samra says there isn't always a specific trigger, a frustration which can add to a person's struggle. They'll have this perception that on the outside life looks good or may even look great um, and then will find it very difficult to reconcile in their minds why they're feeling a certain way. Michael Schrader has suffered from depression. He's also experienced the stigma associated with the illness. At the time, um, I was advised to sort of keep this sort of thing quiet, to not talk about it. The Vancouver teacher has made it his mission to get people talking, biking 40,000 kilometers around the world as part of the Ride Don't Hide campaign. On the website, people can share their own stories of mental illness. I really think that's how you fight stigma, is that we have to start talking and sharing and, and sort of come out of the shadows so that uh, this thing doesn't have the mystique that it does. Something Rippin well, himself was Rippen, interested in doing. Exactly I mean, Rick always spoke about trying to once he had his situation under control about trying to speak out and help other people. Another potential legacy from a player who has already left his mark on many. Maria Weisgarber, CTV News, Vancouver.